Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Jesse from Hands of the Hobbyist. Uh, we're a new company starting out, uh, and what we're going to be doing today is opening a box of Lorcana into the Inkland while we talk and kind of tell you a little bit about our company. So, uh, so let's begin off. Yeah, my name is Jesse. Uh, I'm going to be starting this company, which is primarily going to be based on Pokemon and Lorcana cards. And kind of a little bit of background about me. Uh, I started collecting Magic the Gathering originally from my brother and after that got into Pokemon myself and stopped as most people do when they kind of get to high school age and from there picked it up recently with 151 and now I am Larkana. So it's our first pack. Bone Skippy, Pua, Voltor, Boss's Orders, Nani, Starkey, Last Ditch Effort, The Lamp, Maui's Place of Exile, and Mickey Mouse, Cold Foil. Not bad, common. Definitely gotta work on the camera. And uh, a little information, no more puzzle piece anymore. Um, so what brought us to get to this point where we're starting a YouTube channel? Well, we are actively going to be trying to build a community, you know, as we start up our site. Uh, we're anticipating to start sometime in late March or early April. Uh, we are going to start with some Temporal Forces booster boxes. And hopefully some Lorcana cards. Got a Pyros Lava Titan. Milana, Born Leader. And a Foil Cherubog, which looks to be a legendary from Corrector. So not too bad. Again, gotta work on my camera work. Uh, you know, I hope you guys stay with us. We plan to kind of work on the community primarily as we found we had some issues when we were getting back into the cards, finding a trustworthy source and hope maybe that we could be that for you guys. Let's go through this pack. We got Robin Hood, who I would have to say is my chase card in this set. I know that Ursula currently is the, the big chase as everybody's trying to get it before the correction and we got a Queen's Castle location I do recommend you check out this game it's actually quite fun and we got a foil John Silver yeah growing up playing magic and I actually played competitive Pokemon when it first came out and have a couple of the promos from the tournaments uh, I find Lorcan is actually quite fun to play. You know, the the thought of that any card, for the most part, can be inked, and no need for an energy per se makes the the game much more interesting. And I do plan to play a little bit. It's hard where I'm located. There's not a close by game store for me to go to. It's about. 45 minutes away. A oh, nice stitch. Helga Sinclair. And a cold foil skimpy. Uh, so I've actually primarily been buying online from various sources. Uh, for the most part, it has gone pretty well. Um, I'll definitely give them some shouts out in the future. They don't even know I'm probably doing this quite yet, but. They have definitely provided a, a good entry point for me to start. And while we play Lorcan ourselves, we don't play Pokemon as much, but I am a big Pokemon collector and I'll definitely be showing you our collection here in the near future. And Scroomp, Mufasa. Perdita and a 
Foil Moana. Um, so, you know, we hope you interact more with the community. I would love to be doing this live, but apparently found out YouTube makes you have so many followers and subscribers to, to be able to post these things live. So as you see, we have this first box here. We actually have these three right here and then actually a whole other box in the back where we plan to open over time. We do have a TikTok if you guys want to check out. That's where we've primarily started posting recently. Uh, it's Hands of the Hobby Set TikTok. We also have an Instagram. You'll have to pardon me as I'm not the best with social media, but nice and a foil blue. It is uh, definitely different getting used to the cold foils coming from Pokemon with all their textured and crazy foils. But uh, it's not too bad. Currently contemplating completing a set of foil first chapter, but it seems like quite a daunting task. I was recently talking to somebody on Reddit who opened about 200 packs and said he got about 160 of the foils, which is not too bad. The question is which are the ones he didn't get? And were they the expensive ones? Sorcerer's Hat, Gyro's Gear Loose, and a foil Thaddeus E. Clang. Uh, now we're starting with Orkana now, it just happens to be the time we our box has arrived today, but uh, we do a lot more Pokemon open. Orkana's pretty new. Not many people have quite adopted into it yet. Obviously with MetaZoo currently gone down the toilet, nobody wants to gamble too much on new games. Cursed Merfolk. A nice legendary Maleficent. Storyburn Villain Sorcerer. Whenever this character quests, you may draw a card. Divinations, during your turn, whenever you draw a card, you may move one damage counter from your chosen character to your chosen opposing character. That's quite nice. And foil trigger. Let me just tidy up a little bit here, make some room for the next set of cards. So obviously, you know, if you're not too familiar with Okana, it's a trading card game using Disney characters and it's on its third chapter now. It came out last year to quite a fanfare and it's been quite a hard to get a hold of cards. I uh, have gotten quite lucky at places like Target and Best Buy for first chapter um, but I did break down and go to eBay and Pay the scalper's price of 200 plus for a couple of boxes. Which, you know, hey, if I got in early and got all those boxes, I would probably be selling some too. All right. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with those location cards yet. There's Peter Pan. Maybe there's a nice enchanted version of him. I was hoping it would have been a nice, you know, double there. Triple if we would have got the enchanted. Tis not the pack, tis not the pack. But, uh, you know, definitely drop a comment. Let me know what you're looking to see more of. We do have everything from Scarlet Violet available and most of sword and shield Ooh, knocked over the camera my bad definitely need a better system for that magic of the spell distract eeyore agrabar which i heard is pretty strong zezu patch Ooh, let's work on this camera kit mr smee slightly stratos Madame Medusa and a foil Pluto. Let me just adjust this camera real quick as I knock it over again. Let's see, it's not the best camera stand I'm starting to realize. Uh, 
Okay, let's give that a try. Maybe that's a little bit better. <coughs> Alright. Next pack. Um, but yeah, I just know what you're looking for. Um, we do plan to sell primarily booster boxes. We'll probably start selling some slabbed items on our store once we've had time to build up a little bit of a collection and get some stuff sent off to PSA. If you guys are interested maybe in a, another video, we can show some of our other collection. Nice, a foil forbidden mountain. Yeah, like not the easiest to tell these foils, but they are pretty nice. You know, you're saying, seeing all these boxes being opened, you think we're pretty crazy, but we do enjoy collecting ourselves. You know, there are many type of collectors out there. Sadly, we seem to be the type that like to go for master sets. Diablo, Pluto, Baboom, Jim Hawkins, Airfoil, Kida, with some interesting text on the bottom, Dewey, Simba, the Jolly Roger, Bear Necessities, Tinkerbell, and a Maui Foil. So our luck so far, I mean, I wish I'd recorded some of the older pack openings, but the first chapter, we've opened about the 85 packs so far. And I haven't pulled an enchanted yet, but we have opened probably about the same of Bloodborne and pulled three. Kukumara, Sir Hiss, Iago, Maiden Marim, Orville, Raleigh, has set my heart. Hydros, Gustav the Giant, Hydra, and a Vault Door. Uh, so, I don't know, the first two chapters were definitely a huge hit, you know, you're interested to see if Ravensburg and Disney are going to be able to keep up with this game. You know, I heard Lokana has a 10 year plan, which I hope, you're interested to see if they're going to be using other Disney IPs such as Pixar. Marvel, Star Wars, which there is, Star Wars has its own game, Pride Rock. Character gets plus two while here. Lions, if you have a prince or king character here, you may pay one less ink to play the character. Not bad. And uh, the boss is on a roll, foil. I'm not sure where the prices are going to settle yet. I usually would not recommend people to buy individual cards for the first couple of weeks. You know, obviously certain things like the Ursula, while there's a huge demand due to the error, recent prices I saw were 450 plus, which is quite, quite, quite high. And you're interested to see, is it going to stay that way? And then also what with the corrected version sold for. Heart of Atlas, Kiwi, and is that a duplicate familiar? I have to double check that, but that's a nice foil Maleficent. We actually still are trying to pull that Maleficent from chapter one. Not the foil which we have, but the regular. And Granatala, Nanihan, Stitch, Don Carnage, Miss Blanco, Cruise Top Hats, Lithos, Maui, Map of Treasure Planet, Captain Hook, but not the one we need. And Scrooge's top hat. I'm gonna guess we do need it. 
haven't had that one yet, so. Uh, interested to see, are most of you guys collectors? Are you interested in playing the game? We're primarily collecting right now, but me and my wife are playing, and I've actually taken a like to a little sapphire amethyst, but or sapphire steel. But I haven't got a chance to play against some of these nice new meta decks that I read about on Reddit. Nice Jafar foil. Not the enchanted Jafar. I feel like we're coming close. I think we got a chance. I mean, with the four boxes in front of us here, theoretically, pull rate should be about one enchanted out of this. And this is coming from a sealed case. So there should be an enchanted somewhere in one of these boxes in front of us. Ideally more than one, but we'll have to see. Patch, quick patch, genie. Looks Captain Rapier, Trigger, Audrey Mirmiras, Starlight File, and Queen of Heart. It's actually quite a nice card. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I like to complete master sets, mostly because I like the artwork, and I think having a complete set really adds to that. Because obviously the creators put these cards in a set together for a reason. Interesting to see going forward to how the meta changes now that we've finally added locations in. And moving forward, how the competitive scene will be. You know, I would personally like to compete. And nice Robin Hood foil again, but not the one we're chasing. Let me just tidy up again a little bit here. Uh, and anybody else here looking to get into the competitive scene? You know, let me know. I don't know too much. I know about some regional events. I think there's like a point system you have to do to, to qualify for Worlds, which is actually an invitational from my understanding. Though this is the most opportune time at the beginning of a new TCG. When if you come up with a nice novel deck, you might have a good chance of... If Going pretty far. Magic broom, repair, heal what has been hurt, Tinker Bell, Kuzo's Place, Charbog's Followers, Morph, but not the Enchanted, Minnie Mouse, and Akita, also not the Enchanted. I think we're we're gonna be teased quite a bit here. Alright guys, we're down to four packs in this box. You know it's going to be our first video posted on YouTube here. It's going to be a long format. It's generally what I like. Just talking. You know, ideally, like, like I would say, I'd like to be doing this live. Responding to you guys, feeding off the, the group, and kind of experiencing this all together. Albert Sinclair, another dupe, Baloo, foil, and an airfoil. Hey, not too bad. So three packs left. I'll take a sip of water real quick. All right, let's start with Piglet. Let's see what Piglet's got us to offer. <coughs> All right. Forbidden Mountain, Rufus, Baboom, Peter Pan. Deville Manor, Orville, Dewey, Simba, Jolly Rogers, Scrooge McDuck, Shenzi, and Boss's Orders. We'll go with the Minnie Mouse next. But stay tuned, guys. A lot more to come. You know, it's interesting. I watched uh, Brian from Pokey and Ian. I think it's been quite an inspiration that, you know, it's something you enjoy and passionate about, and you can make it into something you love, like a nice little piglet. Nutsy, 
foil. Oh, I accidentally put Sheriff of Nottingham into the pile of comments. All right, last pack, Jafar. Last pack, Magic, one time. Beginning of my first stream. Who knows? Anything is possible if you believe. And we do. We do. We believe some. Red pools are possible. Captain Amalia, Helga Sinclair, Nutsy, Skimpy, Mr. Snoops, Flint Heart Glomer, Little John, Hey Hey, making a return, Mama Odie, Ariel, and Lena Strawwing. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you stayed and listened. If you're interested more, please subscribe and uh, comment and let me know what you're interested in seeing. As you can see, we do have some booster boxes of Pokemon back there, and uh, I think if you're interested, maybe we'll open these next three boxes. Let us know.